Alrighty, friends, I cannot believe it's already April. Like, we are starting quarter two of 2023 already, and that's blowing my mind a little bit. Um, up to this point, I have talked about my Q1 reflections and goals, all that stuff. If you missed that video, I will make sure to link that up in the cards above. But we are just going to kick April off right by putting our fun, happy... Easter Bunny Steve right there on our dashboard. I kind of wish I did more with this. I guess I could like plaster it with pictures if I really wanted to or if I had that many pictures. But I don't know. I kind of like the simplicity of them as they've been. But talking about Steve, the Christian Designs Celebrations Collection for 2023 is back in her shop so if you want this go purchase it i will link the link in my description below so you can check this out i'm not an affiliate or anything like that i just am a hardcore christian designs sticker lover and enthusiast um i love all things christian designs and steve their fun little mascot and so definitely check this out if you have been having your eyes on this but anyway Let's go ahead and jump into this plan with me um, for the month of April. So I have the cell, not celebrations, celestial April kit from Christian Designs here. And I've already pre-written some things on there just so I can stick them down um, as needed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly fast forward through this part just because I like to change it from a Sunday to a Monday. That's what I've been doing this year. And honestly, I love it. It's been a game changer. I love having the weekend together, especially with my memory keeping stuff that I've been doing. So I am going to turn on some music and fast forward through that for you guys, just so it doesn't take a million years to do this. And then once I have this put on, we will start the actual planning and setting this up. set up. I really love the colors of this kit and how it turned out. Um, and then after I stopped that fast paced video, I decided to add some of this fun washi just because I thought it brought some more fun color and texture to the page. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and get the month of April set up. This month is not as busy as last month was or March um but there's still some things that I want to add I also have some of my Christian designs celebration stickers that I'm going to add for holidays so I think as I just go throughout the um days or each week I will do that but first I almost forgot to stick this here this fun little April and then it is Autism Awareness Month. And it's also Lawn and Garden Month, which is super fun. Um, like I said, with all of the snow that we have had recently, I don't think lawns and gardens are going to be a thing, but we'll see. Um, and then April 1st is April Fool's Day. Um, and then April 2nd is World Autism Day. And because this month is not as busy as um, a normal month would be, just because school is winding down and we don't really have that much going on, I am going to use more of the, um, what are these? 
holidays, fun holiday stickers than I normally would just because I have that availability, um, if that makes sense. So anyway, um, let's go ahead and first things first, it is spring break the first week of April. Which I was joking around because today's actually the day I'm filming this is March 31st. And I was joking around that it's basically like winter break part two because of all the snow that we have. It does not feel like spring whatsoever. But that's okay. I think I'm going to find some pink washi. Okay, so this is what I could find. I feel like I went through my washi a while ago and got rid of a bunch of stuff. And I can't remember what I've gotten rid of. But I swear I had a lot more washies that were like this size. But that's fine. So spring break is the whole week. I have nothing planned. Um, there's a couple things that will, I'll probably get done, but other than that, it's really just relaxing. Um, I do plan on sending my daughter to daycare, at least for one of the days, just to have a day to myself. I know some moms probably think that that's not what you should do and that's not okay but this mom needs a break and I'm in a place where I feel like I can admit that and not feel guilty and I feel like it's fine <laughs> um, but yeah and not to mention I have to pay for it regardless and daycare is not cheap and so I just feel like I'm already paying for it so she might as well go um is my situation or my thought and it's only going to be for this first day i think monday is the only day she'll go just because she also has a parent teacher conference meeting um that day and then i don't know we'll just play it by ear i guess and see how all of that ends up and so then on sunday it is easter so i'm gonna our Easter Sunday and then I'm pretty sure let me grab the kit I forgot to grab my Easter Steve I just want to make sure yeah so I have that guy that I'm going to use in the actual planner and there he is right here so then we have Easter Sunday um, I'm pretty sure that day too and I forgot to write this down but we have a family Easter egg hunt I'm just gonna write family dinner though yeah I'll do it on the purple. Yeah, I think that's good because I still don't know what time that's going to be at. But I know it's going to be a thing. So we'll find that out later. And I feel like that's fine. Okay. Um, and then the following week is the 10th. Um, on the 12th, the Simplified Planner, they are releasing their covers. So they're going to share what cover designs they have for, um, this upcoming planning launch. And so I'm super excited about that. 
I'm still debating whether I'm going to be even getting a planner or not. I've been thinking a lot about my planning situation. I'm not going to ditch this at all this year, at least. But I'm kind of already thinking about next year and what I want to do differently. I've loved the Moxie Life Planner. I love that my goal setting is also in here. But this is getting super bulky, like really fast. And I know it's because of all the stickers I use and the pictures because I do memory keep in here. But I'm wondering, and I'll probably talk about this more towards the end of the year. It's only April. But I'm wondering if maybe going back to either the Simplified or Erin Condren is my solution for planning and memory keeping and then just having the companion notebooks from the moxie life system is what i need to do but like i said i don't even know yet that's that's where i'm at with that um and now I'm just going to stick some random stickers down because, yeah, there are a lot of different holidays in April. But I feel like a lot of them are like religious holidays that I do not celebrate. And so there's a lot of April stickers, but not ones that I'm going to be using which is fine that's totally okay but I just think it's kind of funny okay and then date night oh and then we do have a staff meeting I believe it's this day so we can be prepared for testing that come is coming up in the next few weeks and then simplified planner launch will be the following week after the cover reveal which last year i'm really curious of why they have it so late in april because normally it's like this first week first or second week that they release their planners and i really liked last year how they, like, showed us the covers on Monday and then, like, the launch was on Tuesday or something like that. I, I like that a lot more, but I'm not in charge, so, and that's totally fine, but I don't know. I guess a lot of people didn't like it like that, but I did. I thought it was fun. Okay, and then we have state testing starting on the 24th, so I'm going to use this sticker to kind of cover up this here. And then I'm going to use the yellow washi that comes in the kit. And just run that at the bottom. I think that will work. It looks really good, actually. And then I will stick the last part here. I normally don't put school things in my planner unless it's like a meeting or something, but I really want to remember when our state testing is, just so I can mentally prepare for that as well, because it can be a lot. I'm not going to lie there. Okay, and then I do need to teach Relief Society on the last Sunday. Pepper, move. I'm so sorry, you guys. My cat... She's a goof. And now my kid's coming in here. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, you guys. Um, like I said, my daughter came in here. And I hurried and turned off the video. Because she's cute. But she's, she's been a lot recently. She's definitely embracing being a toddler. Okay, I think that's all I'm going to do for that and I think that's really it so um I'm keeping this pretty simple and straightforward um for this month 
I know it's gonna get filled with a bunch of memory keeping stuff. One of my goals this month is to get a lot of our spring bucket list done. We'll see how much we can get done with the weather and if it's gonna cooperate. But I really like how clean and bright this looks. Makes me super happy. Um, there's really, like I said, nothing exciting or anything crazy going on this month. If I'm excited for anything, it's probably just spring break and just having that mental break. And then probably just the simplified planner launch. Like I said, I don't know if I'm going to be getting anything. Stay tuned on that if I do. Like, I'll probably still purchase stuff to do reviews and whatnot, but I probably won't be using it. So, there might be some giveaways, planning giveaways in the near future over here. Um, I'll probably host those on my Instagram. So, if you want to be in the know and be able to enter, I would suggest following me on Instagram, which all of that info is in my description below. Um, let me know what are you excited for in the month of April. It's finally getting to be warmer and springtime. So if you guys do anything outside that way, let me know. Um, I'm just I'm super excited also for a new month, a new quarter. So if you've changed up your goals, just go ahead and share that in the comments as well. I love talking to you guys there and connecting with you. Um, but that is all that we have for today. It's just simple, short, and sweet. And to the point. Um, so anyway, guys, that is all I have for today. Don't forget to like this video and hit the sub subscribe button if you are new here. And until next time, guys, I will see you all later. Bye.